We've had so many great experiences. It's been unbelievable so far. Join us on Positive World Travel. Trek was sadly coming to an end, but there was still one more thing we were looking forward to, hot springs. So we've just come up, now we go down, and we get hot springs. These springs were exactly what we needed, the perfect remedy to soothe our aching muscles, and we spent a few good hours sitting in them, letting the minerals do their work. Luxury hot shower <laughs> in the wilderness. Um, hot springs now and there's the process you've got to go through you have to have a shower first obviously to, to clean yourself get all your sweat and dirt off and then there's three pools and they go from warm sort of hot and then a really hot one because it's been so cold I think we're just going to get into the very hot one straight away day we passed through more farmland and made our way back down to the town from where we started this journey. With the Annapurnas peeking out from above the mountaintops every so often just to remind us of what we had been there to experience. As more people and traffic appeared on the trail we knew we weren't far from our final destination. about five steps to go then we finished our trek of the Coon Hill Garapani circuit. It's <sighs> been a long walk. You did it. You did do it. It was really good. Seeing the mountains helped me out. Sore legs. Worth it though. It was oh. beautiful. And I didn't carry a full pack. <laughs> yeah. But we saw the mountains. It was really nice. Up and down, up and down, up and down, but just beautiful. Nice little tea houses along the way. First day they said was going to be the hardest. They lied. <laughs> Every day. <laughs> up and then down. And then up and then down. Our time on the mountain was hard work, although it wouldn't have been nearly as rewarding if it wasn't. The true joy for me was getting to spend time with my dad and being able to experience this together. It's like ice. Three, two, three. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>